Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Final solution. Good morning. The Lord bless everyone this morning. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you today. We bless your name. We know you are a great God, a mighty God. And your name is a wonderful name. Your name is a powerful name. Your name is a glorious name. And with the name of Jesus, the name of God, mighty, powerful, all-sufficient, you will do great things in every life. We're asking that today you magnify the name of Jesus in every life. Do great things, wondrous things, things hitherto unknown, do in every life. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. We're looking at Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2, reading from verse 9. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 9, it tells us about the name of Jesus, the exalted name of Jesus, and the name above every name, that in that name all things in your life are possible. Look at verse 9. Wherefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Given him a name above every name. Whatever the name you know, whether good or bad, whether terrifying or inviting, the name of Jesus is greater. Mountain, sickness, demonic oppression, affliction, the name of Jesus is greater. An evil personality, an historic personality, any personality on earth, before or now or in the future, the name of Jesus is greater. He got this name from God the Father himself. And God has given him this special name, this exalted name, that he has not given to anyone else. It says, wherefore God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Whatever challenges you have, whatever situation you might be in, the name of Jesus will conquer everything today. In verse 10, that at the name of Jesus, tell me, say that again, Every knee should bow. It's a decree of heaven. It's a declaration of the Almighty God Himself that whatever it is standing in your way, when you mention that name at the mention of the name of Jesus, praise the Lord, every knee should bow. Of things in heaven, and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord that Jesus Christ is master that Jesus Christ is the conqueror to the glory of God the Father was speaking on the all-sufficient name 
of Jesus in Matthew chapter 1 Matthew chapter 1 reading from verse 21 Matthew chapter 1 verse 21 and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name tell me Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins he that's the only one he the one recognized in heaven he shall rescue shall save shall recover shall restore and shall set free all his people from their sins and from the consequences of sin he saves from the power of sin he saves from the pollution of sin he saves from all the sicknesses that sin might have brought he saves from all the bondage that sin might have brought and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus for he only he can do this will save and set free his people from all their sins verse 23 behold a virgin shall conceive a virgin shall be a child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name everybody Emmanuel which being interpreted is God with us and whatever God has done in the past he is with us in that name to do it today whatever is the possibility in the power of the almighty God all sufficient God everything all those possibilities are in the name of Jesus Emmanuel which being interpreted is God with us and as we believe in that name today great possibilities in your life great possibilities in my life John chapter 14 reading from verse 12 verily verily certainly certainly assuredly assuredly I say unto you he not the he that believeth on me the works that I do shall he also do and greater works and greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my Father. The Lord has given us his name. And he says his name carries all the power, all the authority, all the anointing, all the possibilities that he had when he was here on earth. And if anyone will believe that name, accept that name, hold on to that name, and move on and pray in that name, he said, He that believeth on me, the works I do, he shall do also. And greater works, higher works, shall he do because he goes to the Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, whatsoever he shall ask that believer, whatsoever he shall ask a man or a woman, whatsoever he shall ask a boy or a girl who believes in the Lord, whatsoever he shall ask a new convert or an old convert whatsoever he shall ask in my name 
that I will do, that the Father be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, what will happen? If ye, that's talking about you, you will ask this morning. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. That name is a glorious name. It tells us in Psalm 72. Psalm 72. I read from verse 17. Psalm 72. Reading from verse 17. The name of God. The name of His only begotten Son. The name of Jesus, the name of a Redeemer. Look at verse 17, Psalm 72. His name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun and men shall be blessed in him. The name continues until today. The name continues until this moment. And it says, and men and women and boys and girls and everyone shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only doeth who only doeth in my life, who only doeth in your life today, who only doeth in your family today, who only doeth in our church today, who only doeth wondrous things, wonderful things. And blessed be his glorious name. How long? Forever. And let the whole earth be filled with, the, with his glory. Amen and amen. The whole earth to be filled with his glory. Your whole personality and your whole life to be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. In Second Thessalonians chapter one, Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse twelve. In chapter one, verse twelve, that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you. When you are healed, His name is glorified in you. When you are victorious, His name is glorified in you. When you manifest power beyond human power, His name is glorified in you. <clears throat> and ye in Him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ, Today, that name will be glorified in your life. And in everything you do, in church or outside the church, everything you do in your family, in your place of work, everything you do anywhere you find yourself, in act, in action, in habit, in deed, in work, everything you do, you do it to the glory of the name of the Lord. That's why it says in Second Timothy chapter two, verse nineteen. Second Timothy chapter two, verse nineteen. 
Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. He knows me. I said, He knows me. If you belong to Him, He knows you. If you are born again, He knows you. If you love that name, if you believe that name, He knows you. If you exalt that name, if you glorify that name, He knows you. And if it is your purpose, if it's your heart, that you want the name of God to be exalted, the name of Jesus to be exalted, anytime, every time, everywhere, anywhere, He knows you. He knows me this morning. I didn't hear your voice. The Lord knoweth them that are His. Look at this. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. That's how that name will be glorified in your mouth. Do you know the Bible says the name of Jesus is wonderful? We're looking at Isaiah chapter 9. Isaiah chapter 9, reading from verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called, somebody tell me, his name shall be called Wonderful. And then he goes on to say, Counselor. And also, he's the mighty God. And he can lose no battle. And he can lose nothing. And when you come to him, in the glorious name, you come to him, in the wonderful name, the mighty power of God will walk in your life. The everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, of the increase of his kingdom and peace, there shall be no end. Of the increase of his kingdom and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David, upon his kingdom, to order it. He will set the government of your life, the administration of your life, he will set it in order. You see, some people's lives are flabby. And different parts of their lives are not under control, are not under the administration of the name of Christ. And they are scattered here and there. Their thoughts, their minds, their lives, their actions are not under His government. But when you take the wonderful name of Jesus, the government of your life, the administration of your life will come into order. You will not be disorderly. You will not be disoriented. You will not be flabby. You will not be here and there. You will have a focus and you will have a driving power that drives you and leads you in the right direction. And anybody hearing you, anybody knowing you, anybody seeing your focus, anybody seeing the result of your life will know that your life is in order. My life will be in order. I will not be a confused man. I will not be a disoriented man. I will not be a disunited man. I will not be a disoriented woman. 
Sisters, I'm waiting for your voice. I will not be a disoriented woman. I will not be a disorderly woman. The Lord will order your life. The Lord will order your family. The Lord will put together, put in focus your life. You will walk in a straight path that will lead to victory in Jesus' name. He says to order it and to establish it. When you believe on the name of Jesus, the glorious name of Jesus, the wonderful name of Jesus, it will establish your life. Every work of your hand, it will establish. Your ministry, it will establish. Your vision, it will establish. With judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Performance in your life. Fulfillment in your life. Establishment in your life. Look at Isaiah chapter 25. Isaiah chapter 25. Reading from verse 1. O Lord, thou art my God. I will exalt thee. In everything I do, I will exalt thee. In everything I say, I will exalt thee. In the life of faith I live. I will exalt thee. In upholding your word, I will exalt thee. In earnestly contending for the faith, once delivered unto the saints, I will exalt you. In my character, in my behavior, in my prayer, in everything I do, I will exalt thee. You will exalt the Lord. I will praise thy name. You will praise the name of the Lord, for thou hast done wonderful things. For thou hast done wonderful things. Wonderful things you will do in your life. Today, this morning, you'll carry it until the end of the year. You carry it on till the new year. For thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Thy counsel of old are faithfulness and truth. The name of Jesus is glorious. That glory will appear in your life today. The name of Jesus is wonderful. That wonder will be reproduced in your life today. The name of Jesus is powerful. And that power, the power of his name, will be manifested in your life today in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 10. Luke Chapter 10, verse 17. And the 70 returned again with joy. Like you are going back home with joy. Like you are going to reunite with your family with joy. You return home after this final solution retreat with joy, with happiness, with cheerfulness with excitement, with testimony in your mouth in Jesus' name. And the seventy returned with joy. As I go through this retreat, I'm talking about myself now, as I go through this retreat, I said I'm talking about myself. As I finish this retreat, and I look at everything God has done, I look right and left, 
I look front and back. I look inside, I look outward. I look at my family. I look at my ministry. I lost you there. I look at my ministry. I look at my job. And I cross over to the new year. Joy, joy, joy. Your life, joy in the morning. Joy in the afternoon. Joy in the evening. Everyone you confront, everyone you contact, they will see the joy on your face. They will say, talk to me, something must have happened in your life. And if I have chance of coming across you, I might even walk in front of you and look at you, I'll see that joy. And the seventh returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils, look at that, even the devils, what does that mean? All the cockroaches subdued, all the serpents subdued, all the little, little creeping creatures subdued. And then their very master, even the devils, are subject unto us through thy name. Every one of those 70, every one in our final solution retreat, every one in front of me, every one on this side, every one on that side, even the devils are subject unto me. Even the devils are subject unto me. Throw thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling fall from heaven. He has fallen. Satan has fallen. Evil powers are falling. And beyond the joy, and beyond the excitement, and beyond the victory, behold, I give unto you power. Who is that? I give unto you power. You know, there are people that they continue to act the way they used to act. I used to know a man many years ago. He was penniless. He was poor. He had nothing. But God brought prosperity his way. And eventually, his work blossomed. His work had a breakthrough. And he began to have money legitimately, normally. And he had good money. But you know, as rich as he became, he began to walk and to dress and to act and to live and to eat like he used to do when he was poor in penury. There are some people like that. They come to the final solution retreat. I'm not talking about you now. I'm talking about somebody outside there. This one will not be you. Before they came, they were weak, their shoulders dropped, their eyes dropped. They were walking as if they were going to fall down. And they were anemic, they had no strength and no power. Their voice was weak, everything was weak. And now they come to a retreat like this. And Jesus said, come here, come nearer. I'm giving you something. I give unto you power. And I'm surprised I see them. After that time, they got power. The habit of being weak, the habit of walking as if there is no stamina, there is no strength, the habit of always saying, I am nothing, I am a nobody, 
I don't have any sin. I cannot do any sin. I'm unfortunate. It's territorial power. It's territorial spirit. And they're walking along as if they're going to collapse. After the God's power. I am not like that. You are not like that. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. You will tread on serpents and scorpions. Over all the power, over all the power, over all the power of the enemy. And from now on, till this coming year, till the rest of your life, whether you're in the village or you're in the town, in church or in the office, from now on, nobody will tread upon you. Nobody will trample upon you. The same power, the same authority we find in Christ, I give unto you power. You will tread on serpents and scorpions. Serpents and scorpions will not walk over you. They will not trouble your head. They will not trouble your brain. They will not crawl in your body. And you will have power over all the power of your enemy. Your enemies might have magical power. You will walk, walk over them. They might have psychological power, you will conquer them. They might have occultic power, you will conquer them. They might have monetary power, the power because of their money, you must conquer them. They might have territorial power, you will conquer them. That power, you will conquer them. And nothing is talking about me. And nothing I said is talking about me. Before I read it to you fully, there was a man. He had a double portion of the Spirit of God that was on his master. You know, anytime I say that you can have more power than I have. They say the pastor is just encouraging us. I refuse that one. I reject that one. But Jesus said, he that believeth on him, the same works that he did, that person will do. And greater works than what Jesus has done, he said, you will do. I accept. I accept. And this man, he didn't think his master is so great, is so high, promoted, highly honored, power, walking his life. If he sat down on a mountain, the power was walking. If he stood up before Ahab, the power was walking. If he made the altar, repaired the altar, and then all the 400, 450 prophets of Baal, if they try to do something, they cannot do it. He alone, single-handedly, it will come, the fire will come down. And the man did not say, who can go beyond this? But he said, I will go beyond. I will go beyond. Brother, are you there? I will go beyond. Sister, are you there? I will go beyond. And so his master asked him and said, This is the final day, full day, we're spending together. And this is the final opportunity that you have. Tomorrow it will not be like this. And if there's any solution you have, this is the moment of the final solution. Ask what you want. And the man opened his mouth 
to the surprise of everybody I want I desire I demand I will have a double portion of your spirit can you ask that can you receive that it will happen it will be unto you according to your face in Jesus name now you are in the presence of Christ not in the presence of Elijah you are returning back home with joy even the devils will be subject unto you Satan and your arch enemy will fall before you and behold and behold I give unto your power. I look around, they're serving the food. And they give this one, he receives. And they give this one, he receives. And look, they come to my beloved brother there. And they're giving the food unto him and the water to him. He's looking back, he's talking to somebody. And the person is waiting. Get your food, and he's talking to somebody. He's not paying attention. I give unto you. He's not receiving. And the fellow says, maybe he's not hungry. Maybe he doesn't want food today. And he passes by. The Lord will not pass by you. What he gives, you will receive. Behold, I give unto your power. To tread on serpents and scorpions and over, 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 over all the power of your enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. Rise up and receive. Rise up and receive. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. This is the day of your victory. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. He has a glorious name. Nothing can withstand that name. He has a powerful name. Nothing can resist that name. Glorious. 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 And it will bring glory into your life. Wonderful. They'll bring wonders in your life. Irresistible. Powerful. Omnipotent. That's the name that you have. And now he says, Behold, I give unto you power. Don't look sideways, sideways. Don't look back. Don't look any other direction. It's the day of power for you. The day of success. The day of victory. The day of overcoming. The day of strength. It's divine power. It's supernatural power. It's Jesus power. It's heavenly power that He gives unto you. And that power will conquer will overcome every enemy
all the powers of Satan cannot withstand you. All the powers of the occult cannot overthrow you. All the powers of psychology cannot overthrow you. All the power of religious syncretism will not overthrow you. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing and nothing brother and nothing sister and nothing shall by any means any method in any way hurt you no hurt in your soul no hurt in your spirit no hurt in your body no hurt in your family and nothing shall by any means hurt you His name is wonderful. His name is glorious. His name is powerful. His name is irresistible. His name is unconquerable.
In Jesus name we pray. Things are different now. In the sky, on the sea, on land, in your home, wherever you are coming from, whatever you left behind, things are different now. In the spiritual realm, in the enemy camp, things are different now. Your enemies are weak. You are strong. Behold, I give unto your power. Over all the power of the enemy, serpents and scorpions, you will walk over. Any enemy, but whatever power, things are different now. They are retreating. They are going back. They are running away from you. From now on, nothing shall by enemies hurt you. You will live a life of joy. A life of testimonies. A life of miracle. A life of mountain moving. A life that is fulfilled. What God will do in your life from today to the end of the year to the crossing over to the new year will be greater, greater, higher, deeper, broader, beyond what you ever knew in your life in Jesus' name. Resolve those victorious hands. Whatever that hand touches will be prospered. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the glorious name of Jesus, in the wonderful name of Jesus, in the powerful name of Jesus, in the all-sufficient name of Jesus, in the all-conquering name of Jesus, all your people, one and all, they are brought before you now. Touch them. Make a mark on them. You feel them. You dwell them. Renew them. Re-energize them. New power. New courage. New stamina. New joy. New love. New boldness. New fearlessness. New victory, new success. Everywhere you go from now on, you succeed. You prosper and you will conquer every negative power in Jesus' name. What you have received today will be permanent in your life. Joy as you go back home. Peace as you go back home. This power the Lord has given you, even when you are standing quiet, that power will be working. While you are praying, that power will be working. While you set your eyes on anyone, anything, that power will be working. You carry power. From now, walk confidently. Talk confidently. Pray confidently. The God of heaven will be with you. What you have never seen, you will see. 
what you have never done, you will do. Go in the power, in the strength of the Lord, and nothing will stop your journey halfway. Lord, be an umbrella over all your people until they achieve the minutest detail of the promise you have given them. They will not stop. They will conquer every giant. They will climb every mountain. They will cross every river. Everyone will win every battle. Confirm each in every life, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.